why don't I roll the kids on the computers interview here for a minute? Uh, this Let's one's do it. this one's a kind of a quicker one, and uh, then we'll get back. So here we go. Sounds good. bit of a lie. I didn't catch the room, but I felt like I got it wrong. So as both a father, as both a father of two kids that I desperately want them to be all involved in computers at least as much as possible and understanding uh, the ramifications if they're not into technology and as a person who wants to see Linux implemented wherever possible, I was beyond elated to come across Stormy with the Kids on Computers project here at Scale, where they, well, they do amazing things. They do amazing things. They not only do they bring computers to kids, they essentially build their own little mini internet to take to places that don't have access to the internet. How are you today, Stormy? I'm great. I'm glad to be here at Scale talking to everybody about this. Yeah, it's fun, right? And, yeah. and, you, and so, so I guess my first question is, you obviously when you're dealing, if you're if you're if your goal is to go out and put computers to kids that don't already have them. Chances are that there's probably not a lot of money, the budget isn't real high for doing these kinds of things, right? No, they usually have no budget. So we actually, we either collect donated computers and install Linux and, and free software on them, the educational software, or we, we uh, apply for grants and get money to buy new computers. But the schools themselves have no money. Um, we do like the communities to be very involved, so it's been really awesome. At some of our schools, the parents do fundraisers, or they pitch in a dollar or two a month per kid, which is a lot of money for them. And they, they've been able to like set up computer labs, build the buildings, um, both parents, you know, they had parents build the buildings to put the computer labs in. Yeah. Um, they hired computer teachers off of donations that they've they've gotten. So we work in communities where people are really willing to give and they participate, but there's no money there. So can you can you tell me why? Uh, can you tell me how that plays into Linux per se? I mean, why not why not purchase uh, Microsoft Windows or why not purchase a bunch of Macs? So our goal is to empower kids to be able to create and to do things in the world. And, and so by giving them Linux and free software, things that they can like learn how they work, maybe not in the beginning, but you know, they can learn how they work and they tweak them and they can build on it, is much more powerful than teaching them that the world is about pirated software that they have to steal from someone. Right on the head, right on the head. So, uh, so in a lot of these places, I understand that there isn't a lot of money and that, that leads to not a lot of services and not a lot of services means there perhaps might not actually be internet there. So tell me about the tools that you give these kids so that they can access the internet without having access to the internet. Yeah, so the main thing we wanted to bring was like the knowledge of the world and education to these kids. Mm -hmm. um, so we've worked with different things like um, Rachel and Khan Academy, and we give them essentially on every machine for sure educational software mm -hmm. so they can play math games or things. We give sure. them a full offline copy of Wikipedia, um, usually in their native language. and. I'm always in their native language so far. And we, we give them a complete set of the Khan Academy videos, um, all the ones in their language as well. That's crazy. Yeah. So we don't have Wikipedia. We don't have access to Wikipedia. So we'll bring the Wikipedia to you. Yes, yeah, so it's really amazing. They, they have an entire, more than what it would be in a set of encyclopedias on every computer, and they can look up their info. It's cool. In one school, we were setting up the computers. And this is in this little town in Mexico that they have, they not only don't have internet, cell phones don't work there. They're in a canyon, and they don't have any like landline, so they really don't have any communication. Uh -huh. And we had three moms come in while we were working, and they sat there the entire afternoon and browsed through Wikipedia <laughs> and Khan Academy. <laughs> and this wasn't on the internet? No, no, like just in this little lab, in this little town, in this little canyon, like these, these people played with it. That's unbelievable. Is there a particular distribution that you use when you go to, uh, to, to set up these computers for kids? We've played with a bunch of them, so we're not tied into any. We've tried Ed Ubuntu, we've tried Lubuntu. Um, at the moment, we're using Ubermix. Um, okay. One of the things we need is something that runs with really low memory right. on really right. old machines mm -hmm. um, that's very customizable. So, right. It has, so it has to be new enough. It has to be new enough and late, late, late enough that those kids are getting a good uh, that they're getting a relevant experience. And at the same time, it has to be ac accommodating to very legacy hardware, essentially. Yeah, it's it's the hardware and the amount of memory and stuff that were that limits us. Well, that's absolutely outstanding. If people wanted to, I assume that you guys could always use a donation or could always use a, a you know a, a plug for uh, for your website. So if people wanted to give back, if people wanted to donate hardware, if people wanted to donate money, where could they go? 
They could go to www.kidsoncomputers.org. Um, you can get involved there. We're always looking for volunteers, whether you like working with technology or you're good at marketing or you speak another language, we've got something to do. Um, donations help. The money goes a long ways. Like, you know, for very little money, we can bring a donated laptop to a, a country and give it to someone. So donated hardware or money. Um, we're doing a fundraiser here for, for cool hats. They were made by a local businessman in one of the communities that we work with. Yeah, and so we're selling those as a fundraiser. All right. Well, outstanding. And this is a way that if you if you uh, if you care to contribute to this project, not only are you contributing towards Linux, you're not only are contributing towards open source, but you are putting in the hands of kids that wouldn't. Not only they're not people that you're not converting people from Windows. You are converting people from no computer at all to a Linux-based experience, and that that's essentially what they are going to know. You have the power to do that. So I, I you know, I, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for doing what you're doing. Thank you for going out to do all this. This is a super cool project, and I'm really excited to follow you and see how things go. Thanks so much for stopping by and spreading the word. Please, please come help us out. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Wow, you know, uh, that makes me want to like, yeah, that makes me like want to stay in touch with them and like follow up in the future and like promote them on our shows and stuff. That's such a great idea. The thing of it is, is it's one thing to go set up computers in another country. It's it's one thing to, to install oh, an operating wait. system. Check your check your mic. <laughs> it does. It's a pulse audio thing. It's it's not Noah's fault. Oh my gosh. It's not Noah's fault at all. Uh, pulse audio jacks his mic up to like two hundred percent. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, which is absolutely. It, it's a fun thing, especially because it does it every single call. Like I feel like I'm playing ping pong. Yeah. I, I set yeah. it down and yeah. it turns it back up. Yeah. Um, but uh, but no, it's one thing to to set up uh, to set up computers in another country. It's one thing to set up an operating system, but man, to bring Wikipedia, yeah, to bring Wikipedia on a computer and bring it to a different country and say, well, you didn't have the internet, so let me bring the internet to you. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it, uh, uh, and I I I I have like uh, I have so many old parts and pieces of computers that I wish I could do something better with, and I, yep. I think causes like that would be a good example. Mm -hmm. So. I, I actually think I think Stormy actually works for Mozilla, so uh, so we'll stay in contact with her and uh, and yeah we'll, we'll we'll definitely we'll follow up with her in a little bit. Very cool. So I see you're sending me all.